Let's see GitHub pages in action. Now, this is our trusted repository. And before we go into the workflow and how we can publish to GitHub pages, first we need to enable it. So let's go to the settings tab and then scroll down. Let's click on pages on the left hand side. And then you will notice here that I have this page where the build and deployment section is gonna ask me what my source should be. By default, it's gonna be deploy from a branch, but I specified it that I wanna deploy from GitHub Actions because I wanna show you how you can create your own workflows to deploy to GitHub pages. Now, the cool thing is there are also some starter workflows that you can automatically configure, and this is gonna push a starter workflow to your current main branch. You can also configure a custom domain, change uh, HTTPS or not. And of course, visibility is available for enterprise uh, cloud. Now, we're not gonna touch any of these other options. We are going to actually go to the uh, code section right now. And then we're gonna click on workflows. And then I have this workflow here, which is gonna publish my GitHub pages. Now, what's happening in this workflow? First of all, it's gonna react and trigger whenever we push changes to the docs branch. So I have created another branch in this repo called docs, and I'm gonna be pushing the content of that branch to be published on GitHub pages. Next, we're gonna update the permissions. So we need uh, contents to be read, pages to be write, and ID token to be write. If you don't have these permissions, you're not gonna be able to publish uh, to pages. Then we need to update the concurrency group because we obviously don't want multiple publications or deployments to the same GitHub uh, pages target to happen at the same time. So we need to have a concurrency group configured. We need these to wait um, you know, on each other and not deploy at the same time. Then we jump to the deployed job. In the environment, we need to configure the environment's name to be GitHub pages and also provide the URL uh, the URL is available in context, so steps.deployment. This is the uh, ID of the uh, deployment that outputs that page URL. This is how we can get it. Then this is going to run on Ubuntu latest. We are going to check out their repository's content. Then we're going to use the action configure pages version 5. This is going to configure our you know, uh, environment for us. Then we're going to upload the artifact and the artifact is going to be basically created from the content of this repository. Notice that we put the dot here, which signifies that the current path is to be packed and uploaded. And then we are going to deploy the artifact we just uploaded over here in this step to our pages. And finally, we are going to report the status via, you know, a step or job summaries so that we can see and we are gonna echo also the ref that we deployed from, as well as the URL for our, uh, you know, GitHub pages. That's it, that's the workflow. So let's see it in action. I'm going to jump to the code one more time and then go to the docs. And then I am going to, uh, I, you can see in the docs branch that I have a file now called index.html. It's a very simple HTML page that says uh, GitHub Actions is awesome. And then be careful because when we deploy from this branch, pretty much all of these files and folders are going to be accessible from our GitHub pages. So be careful what you store in the repository. If there's any sensitive information you don't want to be published, want it to be published, you need to make sure that you scrub it from, you know, uh, whatever branch you're deploying from. And also before we uh, actually make a change and deploy, we need to introduce one more configuration. So let's go to the settings page by default, when you enable GitHub Pages, a new environment is created for you that's called GitHub Pages. And that environment has protection rules by default. So you need to click on GitHub Pages over here. And then if you're not deploying from the main branch, you need to edit this branch and specify whichever branch you are deploying from. This is very important. Otherwise, you're going to have errors and your workflow is not going to run. Now. We're going to leave everything else to the default. Let's click on code. Let's jump to the docs uh, branch. Let's click on index.html and let's try to commit something. Um, let's say, let's, let's put it this way. And then let's commit this change. And then we're going to go to the actions tab and you're going to see here in our workflow 
that we already have a deployment that is scheduled. Now, this deployment, it's pretty basic. It's going to check out the repository, pull its content, and then try to upload the artifact and deploy to our GitHub Pages environment. This should be done in a second. You can see here that deployment is underway and the entire job has been completed. Now, once this is done, if I click on the summary, you will notice that you're gonna have the URL over here for your GitHub page, as well as you can see the artifact uploaded over here, and then you can see our summary as well. So if I click on this link and I open it in a new tab, I should be able to see the content from the docs branch and the index.html page right over here for me.